Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Now we got a uh, we got a really bad story here. This this pissed me off when you when you sent it to me. Uh, Ma'am Cole Nanda and their their bullshit business practices and their poor treatment of their employees. Yeah, it's, it says that. 200 Bamco, uh, Bandai Namco, I keep trying to combine them. Bandai Namco yeah. employees reportedly moved into expulsion rooms designed to board them into quitting, though the company maintains its innocence. So this company is pretty much trying to force their employees to quit by putting them in these, these, yep. these rooms, like forcing them to go into these rooms and work ungodly hours. Doing stupid stuff. Yeah, it's how it's how it works in Japan. You don't get fired. You get put in a you get put in a really small room where you just lick stamps and envelopes all day. <laughs> yeah, just, like, just so that, you know, everyone maintains their honor in their face. Right. Like, whatever. you know, you're being fired. So go look for another job and then everyone can just bow out. And But yeah. Ugh, yeah, there, there is no damn honor in that. It sounds like a concentration camp to me. You putting people in these rooms, yeah. and and that's that's what killed people. Don't know this, but this that's what killed Sega. That's what killed Sega in Japan. I don't think a lot of people know this, but Sega was caught doing this. Sega was caught doing this practice, and that killed them in Japan. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, which was something interesting that I learned from reading into this is that was like, yeah, it's a shitty practice, obviously, but yeah, I guess that's what killed Sega in Japan. They got caught out. So Bandai might, Bandai Namco might get fucked from this. Well, I mean, the fact that, I mean, with the whole thing, Sega was just a mess at the end anyways, all them, the car where they were trying to push plus the, the practices that they were doing, that's what took them down but that's that's a conversation for another day but yeah exactly you know the fact that that they're even doing this because they don't want to fire people and they want people they want to save face that's bullshit these are human beings that we're talking about yep yep you know and i, I don't and like, i couldn't i couldn't work for no place like that because i'm the nicest guy you ever met but if you try that bullshit with me I'm, you know, I'm turning into the freaking, I'm turning into a monster. I'm like, yo, hell no. Yeah. I'm a tear through, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, it's, it's very interesting, right? Because we're, like, we're an individualist society, right? And they are collectivist. So, what's the saying? The nail that gets stick, the nail that sticks up gets hammered down, I believe is the saying, right? So... Like, yeah, everyone's individual in their own lives, but, like, in a collectivist society, yeah, like, you just, everyone does everything and puts on a smiley face, and everything's fine, you know? Yeah, I mean, Konami, kind of whack. Konami did some bullshit like this before, too, like, um, I mean, they were, they were just as bad, like, putting cameras over all of their, their employees' uh, desks and watching every everything that they did. They weren't allowed to talk about anything that was going on with the company and stuff. And it was just, it's disgusting. It says approximately yeah. 200 out of 1,300 employees were sent to expulsion rooms, also known as um, Oideshi Beya. I guess that's how you pronounce it. It says an unsavory practice where they're, they're put in these, in these extremely strict rooms where they just get bored to death. I guess they play Twilight all day. And just drive yeah. these people nuts. <laughs> yep. You know, but so that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be interesting to see how everyone else thinks of that. Yeah, it says already a hundred people had already 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 resigned, which I don't blame them for that yep. shit. You know, but holy crap, dude! Like, how how the hell right. are they, how the hell are they even able to get away with bullshit like that? Because it's a collectivist society. Reporting things is stand is sticking out like you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. It's collectivist. You wouldn't do that. You would do nothing to harm your company. So even if they're doing that to you, you don't do that. It's wrong to do like that's that's the idea. That's how it works, right? Like it's collectivist, not individualistic. So even though a person's suffering, 
They're not going to report it. They're not going to shit talk. They're not going to do any of that because they are hurting their own company and they don't want that. Whereas here, someone else would be like, see, and that's because we are raised in an individualistic society, right? Where we have the choice to be like, yeah, fuck you and leave. Whereas there's a system in place there where you don't want to cause trouble for them. You don't want to look bad for yourself. Like, it's just collectivism. It's an interesting subject. Collectivist societies are very interesting. And yeah, it's for working for the group for the greater good. Here we disgusting. don't have it, right? Here's fuck you got mine. We work in fuck you got mine over here, right? So uh, for me, I don't, <laughs> that's why it's different. I don't give a flying GGD. We'll say that GGD about any of that bullshit. You, you should not be treating yeah. your people, especially the people that work hard for you and they bring your products to life. That is extremely yeah. ungra ungrateful to me. And you deserve a, a huge middle finger, two of them to your damn face, four of them if you count Kelsey's. <laughs> you know, screw y'all, man. Uh, Bandai Namco. This that's bullshit, man. I hope they all quit. <laughs>